Welcome back to Kathy Meadows. Uh, it's been a, about a week since we've made a video. I haven't really done anything different, so I didn't want to bore you with the same stuff over and over again. Um, we got a pretty interesting project for today. What I have behind me here is feed. That's feed for my cows and my sheep and, uh, and the goats. It's called three-way. It's a mix of corn, barley, and oats. Um, I feed very little of this to any of my animals. They're, so they're not officially grass-fed only. I get one scoop in a bucket, uh, a rather small bucket a day for the three cows, the goats, and the sheep to eat. It's probably about 10 pounds. The, the point of it is, though, not to feed them nutritionally, but to um, keep them tame enough that I can handle them easily uh, so what we have that's one ton it's a uh, 2,000 pounds a little just a hair over one ton my little tractor the LS MT 240 e tractor with my new pallet forks on there um, I'm gonna make an effort to see if I can move one ton of feed off of my trailer onto the ground with my little LS tractor. You can see here, it's pushed up on a 16 foot trailer. It's pushed in, it's pushed up too far that I will not be able to pull the forks right up under it. So I'm gonna have to pull it back somehow. I think I'm gonna wrap a chain around the base, attach that chain to my tractor, put the tractor in reverse slide it to the end, take the chain off, then lift up my pallet forks. Now this little tractor, it's a 40 horsepower tractor. Um, the loader claims that it'll lift a ton, a little over 2,000 pounds. Um, that's what the specs say. We're about to put it to the test. I've lifted up uh, a rather large tiller when I tilled my garden and it almost topped my tractor over. And those hay bales, I'm not sure how, how heavy they are. They're about a thousand pounds, I think. Um, and they will probably, they've, they've come close to tipping the tractor over too. So this is going to be a little hairy situation. Um, we're going to see what we can do. I'm going to set you up over here on time lapse and see if we can't figure out some interesting music to play. And, uh, give it a go of getting this feed off. The reason, uh, you don't have to have a tractor to do this. Uh, last time I did this several months ago, I scooped from a five gallon bucket directly into my 55 gallon drums, but it is supposed to rain this afternoon. And I don't know if I will be able to get all of this feed, um, out of the bag into the 55 gallon drums. So what my plan is today is to get it off, move it under cover over there under my under my patio for now, and then bring my drums over there and start unloading it in the drums. But if it starts to rain before I'm done, I want it to be covered so that it doesn't get wet and in turn turn moldy. Um, so uh, enjoy. You may get to see me flip a tractor over and hurt myself or break my tractor. You might see catastrophic failure of my pallet forks that are rated for just over a ton or my tractor that's rated for just at a ton trying to move this one ton feed. So uh, who knows? We'll see what happens. It's, this is probably a dumb choice, but I got to get this thing off. So um, bear with me. Hopefully it's enjoyable. So there we have it. Great success. Okay, pardon, pardon the mess. I'm going to show you what we've done. 
We've moved our bag of feed under the porch. Okay, that give me time to take my time loading it into my 55 gallon drums. Um, our LS tractor MT240E with these front loader, the LL3302 LS front loader with knockoff um, from eBay pallet forks that were um, affordable, medium duty, so they lift 2,500 pounds with my heavy duty bush hog on the back as a counterweight, was able to get that done. So I am more than satisfied. I'm gonna tell you I was right at the upper limit of what that tractor could lift. It would not go up quickly or any higher and the tilt function was not working well. Um, I don't know if you could see that, um, but hey, it worked, it's off. Nothing's broke on this little tractor. Nothing got hurt, I didn't get hurt and the trailer's still in one piece. So I'm gonna call it a success and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Please subscribe, thank you.